The African Transformation Movement have expressed concern over what they call a delay of constitutional court judgment on the advocate Busisuem Kwebane's suspension as the public protector. They say the Judicial Service Commission are not showing enough urgency on the matter, despite being called upon to intervene on numerous accounts. We are now joined via our telephone line by uh, African Transformation Movement spokesperson Zaman Jona for more on this. Now, Zama, we understand that uh, you have now written... Uh, to the JSC asking it to intervene because you saying that uh, uh, we need to uh, hear the matter and of course uh, get the final verdict from the Constitutional Court uh, which sat over eight months ago. Thank you so much. Uh, the African Transformation Movement, we feel that uh, there is something that transpired two weeks ago or so, a week or so ago, where Judges had failed to deliver judgments, and, um, and, and they were suspended. Now, you have a standing judgment on a very crucial matter, a matter of national importance, a matter where the, the decision that has been taken by the Western Cape High Court, a scathing decision on the president being retaliatory when he suspended the public protector who was at the time investigating him. And after you have that, it goes to the Constitutional Court. The Constitutional Court finalizes the matter and waits for a given eight months as if running down the clock knowing that the public protector uh, uh, will have a new public protector by October. Now, this impression is not good. This impression that we could have a president who, after being given, um, being denoted by the Western Cape High Court as a retaliatory president, Mm. And the Constitutional Court is not interested in either clearing the president or making sure that the public protector goes back to work. So as the African Transformation Movement, we are calling on the JSC for the JSC to intervene on the matter. And all must be equal in front of the law. Mm. That is the interest of the African Transformation Movement. What would you like to actually see being done uh, by the Judicial Service uh, Commission now that uh, you have reached out uh, to them in this letter? What we expect right now is pressure put on the judges that are, uh, that are said to be delaying the issuing of the judgment. They must follow up on what is actually happening and failure to get a satisfactory answer. Those judges must be sub subjected to the same law that everybody else has been subjected to. We can't have uh, um, people within the very same system who are not accountable to the very same laws that are, that are applicable to others. So we expect that the JSC must find out what is the holdout. And, and, and for us, it is actually perturbing that we have to actually write to them because the public protector has already written to the JSC and the JSC has not actually given a satisfactory answer that leads to either pushing the judges to release the judgment or suspend the judges that are not, that are not complying. So as the African Transformation Movement are coming in because we're seeing that uh, time is running out and seemingly that could be the actual... We do not want impression of, of, of such things uh, uh, being created in society. And I think they want to protect the judiciary. If they want to protect the judiciary and uh, how it looks in uh, the, the public, in the, in the public eye, it's important that they do these two things. Follow up on this, force the judges, and if the judges do not comply, they must be suspended. Mm. And Zama, what makes uh, this judgment important, especially particularly uh, with the process uh, which is playing out in Parliament uh, when it comes to that, uh, that inquiry, that 194 inquiry, which is currently being carried out? What makes it so important uh, for this judgment uh, to be sped up? It's important in two, uh, uh, yeah, in two ways. One, it's that after th there is a sequence of events which makes us to not to be comfortable. One, 31 questions are delivered to the President of the Republic of South Africa. 
And instead of the public, uh, the, the president of the Republic of South Africa giving answers to the questions, he suspends the public protector. Now, remember the DA sponsored motion of uh, uh, the DA sponsored uh, program, Section 194, determination of the fitness to hold office, had not set a day. So the findings of that. Finding out whether the public protector is um, a, a seat to hold office or not was a process that had not already started. So if the president had made a final determination on the matter before the Section 194 committee had said, what did he base that on? Mm. And now, Zama, perhaps if it's we can very also important. The... That is, becomes very important. This is why the judgment of the Western Cape High Court becomes important when it says he was retaliatory. Now, if presidents cannot be touched, even when they have violated the Executive Members Ethics Act, then we have a problem. And if the Constitutional Court is, is not responsive to, to this particular uh, challenge that we find ourselves in, they are enablers of president who, when they have broken the oath of office and actually violated the Executive Members Ethics Act, uh, are going to be permitted because we're creating a precedence here. And perhaps lastly, in closing, now that we are running out of time, uh, Azama, just to get uh, your reaction in terms of Kubutile uh, Gyanki uh, there from Parliament uh, saying that Busisim um, Kwabane, uh, advocate Busisim Kwabane, has missed her deadline. Of course, she has come back and saying that, uh, you know, her legal team is still yet to respond. Uh, what is your response, uh, you know, to her missing that deadline? You know, it's unfortunate that we are dealing with a system that does not want to speak to fairness, even though that's what we fought for. Advocate Musuam Kwebane has to go to court just to get legal representation. Advocate Musuam Kwebane has to hound institutions to fund her defense when institutions that actually, when it is, when it is known that she should be getting those privileges, it is unfair even now to be uh, placing this on her lap, the issue of missing the deadline, when we know that the system has not enabled the public protector to actually enjoy the privileges that are privileges. So for us as the African Transformation Movement, we, we think that uh, uh, this slowly but surely is becoming an issue of prohibiting uh, the, the, the public protector uh, uh, from clearing her name and also running down the clock so that uh, her contract expires so that the new public protector can come in and hopefully not uh, the president doesn't have to deal with some of the cases that he was dealing with uh, under uh, 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 Advocate Busu and Kobani.